Assalamu alaikum this is Maryam with national and international news today HRCP says PM Cocker's statement on elections sends Imran anti-democratic and ill-judged the prime minister should be aware that it is not for him or his government to decide unilaterally what constitutes a fair election the commission says PCP raises concerns regarding extraordinary delays in issuance of Indian visas with ICC. We have raised concerns about inequitable treatment toward Pakistan and reminding them of these obligations toward the World Cup, says spokesperson. The rupee of world trend continues, rises to 292 against dollar in interbank. General Secretary of Exchange Companies Association of Pakistan predicts further depreciation of dollar in days to come. Import substitution should be integral part of industrial policy, says Daga. SBP should fix the exchange rate of the Pakistani rupee from time to time, says Minister. Leather, willow and sunflowers. China gets to grip with cricket. I didn't ever see cricket before, so I was interested to know more about the support, says a Chinese spectator. Canadian Sikh group urges followers to protest outside Indian embassies. Punjab Sikh fear row threatens them at home, abroad. Gas leak causes explosion in Iran's Bandarbas refinery IRNA. Explosion at Iran's Bandarabas refinery due to a gas leak. No details on damages or casualties yet. Erdogan meeting Azerbaijan as thousands flee nagorno karabakh Turkish president will visit Azerbaijan autonomous Nakhchivan exclave in a show of solidarity with his ally. China defends South China Sea floating barrier. Manila wants it removed. Beijing says its Coast Guard took necessary measures in accordance with law to drive away a Philippine vessel. Second round of negotiations of Ethiopia's mega dam wrap-up. Protracted negotiations over the dam have so far failed to bring about an agreement between Ethiopia, Sudan and Egypt. These were today's top stories. Stay connected for more. Take care.